so yeah, here are the logs. Here's Jaina Proudmoore. Uh, I don't know how many wipes we have total, so I'm just gonna focus on the healing stuff specifically. I mean, here's like okay, so phase one damage, right? Like this is uh, this is something I don't really care about, but whatever. Phase one DPS is this. Again, phase one damage is not relevant at all. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh shit, the shamans are. I didn't expect the shamans to be bombing that much. They were actually doing a lot of damage there. Um, show them how retarded the dot damage is. Oh, phase yeah, sure, sure, no problem, no problem, no problem. So yeah, phase one damage is whatever. It's we're not really doing anything special here. It's mostly just on playing clean and not using anything, not using any like fucking CDs. So phase two is the intermission. You just got to kill the orb. So there's no damage to really do here. But the healing, I'm actually curious. Yeah. The shamans basically carry this phase, and most of the priest healing is at the very end. You see, like, we're not doing anything until the very end, basically, whereas the shamans are consistently doing a little bit more earlier on. You see, if I zoom in here, the disc, uh, my healing at least, the disc healing is a little bit delayed versus the shamans, okay? So that's, and most of our healing is just ramping for the start of the second phase, right? The second phase comes out, and there should be, yeah, exactly here. There'll be the two discipline priests popping immediately on pull. Uh, yeah, so there's mine and uh, Sovereign's Burst, and there's Potash. Let me uncheck total real quick, and then put Sailor on there as well, great. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> so yeah, the Disc Priest burst when we come out. The second one is Xerops' burst. Is that mine and Xerops? Yeah, 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 okay. I'm, I'm the Dark Line. So I burst then, Xerops burst then, whatever. We both, you see, my, mine and Xerops' line look almost the exact same because we're Disc Priest and we just use the same CD timings. So we had a lot of overlap in terms of our timings, but that was completely how we had to play it, right? That was completely the correct way to play it there. Uh, but you see, I mean, phase two was some, like, you look at the overall HPS numbers, right? And you're like, oh, okay, it's it's whatever. He's doing 37k HPS, Zelia's doing 40k HPS. When you take out phase one in the intermission, right? So the intermission ends at what? This time here? When you just go phase two, phase three? Let's have a look at those HPS numbers. Yeah. Like, when you just go phase two, phase three, it is fucking disgusting how much healing you need to do. You need to do so much healing, okay? And, I mean, the dot ticks retarded like and you can you can just look on the graph you can see each this is the barrel reset right you can just see the barrel resets you can see the wall resets first barrel reset second barrel literally it just drops to zero it literally our damage taken drops to zero basically ramp 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 zero ramp ramp zero ramp zero and then there's the ice wall drops off before the ice wall there's lust which helps us carry the healing through that phase um and then the last phase is just ramp the last phase is just fucking ramp with no zero. There is no zero. You just got to heal more. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the last phase damage taken. You see, like, the tanks are getting hit fairly hard, but, like, the damage is just so consistent across the entire age because that dot just fucking pumps. Okay. Um, did you have barrier for the last part? Yeah, I barrier at the end. Like, yeah, and there's, there's less of the healing as well. I think, I think I did okay healing last phase. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. 80k HPS? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Last phase damage, 12k DPS. Yeah, I'll take it, sure. I don't think people realize that our strategy from the very first pull of this boss has been double disc. Like, I, I, I think people... We talk a lot about healing before a tier and how we expect to play fights, right? And we were pretty sure that we would be able to burn this boss. And that's why we ran double disc from the very first pull. 12k DPS? Yeah, 12k DPS last phase. I'm literally half a DPS. Why did you go holy? Well, they changed the intermission. The intermission became unhealable as disc, so we went holy just to practice more, and then it was fixed, which meant we could go back disc. Um, you played holy for a while? Yeah, but disc was always disc was always the intention, right? For those that were messaging us or, or talking about like how Rest Druid looks better or whatever, or... You know, why don't we run Triple Shaman or why don't we run Druid and stuff? You don't understand the fight. The fight was entirely about last phase damage. That was the only thing that mattered. The more damage you last phase, the less everything else becomes, right? Uh, was I the highest I level in the guild? By quite a way, actually. Okay, I was the highest I level by a long way. Uh, shit. Man, that was a fun last phase. That was a fun last phase, okay? Um... To clarify, I spent a lot of my per I spent about 7 million personal gold on BOEs, which is why I have such- I got very lucky, and I spent a lot of gold on BOEs. Much more than anyone else did, I think. Uh, DPS only on Jaina Phase 3. Oh yeah, done to enemy. That's a, that's a good point, actually. Uh, Jaina Proudmore. There you go. There, there's boss DPS Phase 3. So I'm a little bit lower. I'm, I'm 10k. I'm 10k boss DPS. But you see, some DPS are below 20k, so I'm, I'm literally half- like, the, the double disc 
is the same as having an extra DPS that phase. If you add mine and salt risk boss damage together, which basically puts us at 18k DPS, it's the same as having another DPS there. So yeah, it's uh, it's really relevant. And it, dude, I'm going to click Narcolese's damage here. Look at this spike. I, I haven't even seen this myself. Look at the spike. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> dude. Well, everyone else is just tack, 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 tack. Narco, he saved it. He saved his wings for the very end when people were dying, right? And then he just... Brrr, he, he was telling us. every All these wipes we had, by the way, every single wipe that we had, like, was a scuff pull. And the reason that I didn't drop barrier on any wipe we had is because I couldn't. It's because if I drop barrier, we wouldn't have it for later. And we, we knew... We, we have the spreadsheet. Like, uh, let me open the spreadsheet. I guess I can show this. Fuck it, dude. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, Jaina Tactics. Like, this is what a progress spreadsheet looks like, by the way. I guess I can show this. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, okay. This is what a progress spreadsheet looks like, by the way. So this is... No, no, no. This, this is how it looks. So you can see here that, like, we have the exact timing, the stacks we expect. This is when we were still playing. This is when we were still playing Holy, by the way. But and the important thing eventually became this. I was to drop my barrier at this point here. That's when I drop my barrier. If I drop it at any other point, I failed. If we wipe here and I don't drop barrier, that's fine. If we wipe here and I don't drop barrier, that's fine. If we wipe here and I don't drop barrier, I fucked up. So that that that's how it works, right? And I did this myself, right? But uh, but no, you you understand you understand like uh, leaks URL. It doesn't. It's probably a private spreadsheet. It doesn't matter. Um, X is my push to talk. Yeah, keep mind. Um, yeah, X is my push. X is my push to talk. Keep mind. That's why it's there. Um, probably. Yeah, I don't fucking know, dude. Who the fuck knows? But um, but no. So that that's why that's why we were dying without me popping evangelism, and that's why we were dying without me popping barrier and stuff because I couldn't. My barrier was assigned to that point. Zerps' barrier was here. Zerps' ramp was here. My ramp was here. Tide was there. That's when we popped them. You know what I mean? Like, uh... Hmm. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. This was a... Why bring Rev as warrior? Uh, one second. Let me just go back here and then here. I mean, he does good damage. Revis does good damage. Revis is a good player. He does good damage. Why not? And shout, yeah, but there's, there's a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff, yeah. Um, watch spooky reaction clip. Uh, what's the, okay, what's this, wait, what's the spooky reaction clip? I don't even know. I've got display capture on, so I'm really afraid of leaking some stuff, right? Show the wall damage? Well, no, okay. The wall damage isn't relevant, okay? So let, let me explain. This is this is kind of an important thing, okay? So intermission starts. This is when the... Da, 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 yeah, okay, okay. So in this intermission, right, damage done to enemy, you'll see that we actually, in the intermission, even though the intermission starts when Jaina ports away, we managed to get 4.3 million boss damage on Jaina. The wall damage, you'll see, is mostly melee. Because they're not hitting Jaina. All these people here, Scripe, Salt Rips, me, these people here, were, were hitting Jaina. So our, our wall damage is very low, but that's because in the intermission, we were pumping in the Jaina. And it was, just to clarify, the, the most insane thing was when, because sometimes we didn't make that push, right? We didn't make that push. We were playing it very risky. We were playing it very close. And, you know, sometimes we, I mean, you saw a few of the pulls where we missed the wall by a few seconds. And whenever we wiped the wall, people would hit me up with, Josh, you didn't kill the wall, and I uh, I saw that you were hitting Jaina instead. Have you considered doing DPS to the wall? Yes, uh, <laughs> I, I did consider that, but this is what mattered. The fact that we did four fucking million damage to Jaina in the intermission, we cut 2% off her last phase right there, right? Crazy, absolutely crazy. This is super valuable, and I mean... You don't need to kill the wall fast. What actually matters is that when you do run up to Nathanos, or whatever the fuck his name is, Nanathos, I don't know, you kill him fast. Because if you kill Nathanos slow, right, if you take, if you let it stack to two stacks on Nathanos, right, it doesn't reset. The debuff doesn't reset. So, it's kind of awkward, but the tick, 
This is getting a little bit complicated right now, right? But the, uh, this is what I mean. All I've thought about for the past four days is this fight and how to kill it, right? That's all I've thought about because people don't appreciate, like, all the little min-maxing and stuff. All the exact timing, all the... Because you don't see it. You just see the failure when it doesn't work out, but you don't understand it fully, right? Um, the tick rate of the floor normally in the second phase is every six seconds you gain a stack of chilling blood. If we go here, debuffs, chilling touch, whatever the fuck it is, this is it, right? So if we go to all phases and then we click on myself, you'll see. Great. So every six seconds it ticks right here. When you phase to the intermission, the first tick is 16 seconds later. 15, sorry, it's 15 seconds later. The next tick after that is 10 seconds later. If you get the second tick, you don't reset. So you need to kill Nathanos in the 15 second window there, or you won't reset your debuffs. And if you act, if you don't do it fast enough, the tick happens anyway. So that's why we use movement speed to get up there. I think there's a wind rush and stuff to get up there, right? Um, man, what a fucking fight! What a, I'm so happy. This was this was X. This was so good. So well played from everyone involved. Why was the setting on low? The second on low, uh, the setting on low was basically just because it helped us see visibility and stuff. Uh, in the intermission, I, I think low was the best overall setting. You want low with projected textures on and particle density high. I think those were the best uh, ones to see. Um, Wait, people are telling me to watch the spooky clip. Uh, what the what? What's the spooky clip? Um. Okay, I suspect, Five, four. suspect this is it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lost dice. Oh, dude, he's happy. Look at him go, dude. He's I actually really fucking love Spooky, yeah. I really like Spooky. <laughs> Literally fully dead inside, holy shit. Um, no, but like, I have no clue what to do right now. I have no clue what to do, like, I'm fully lost, yeah.